The most important thing is to get to the river and observe what's going on. A lot of guys will, will rig up before they get here and expect the fish to just adapt to them, but it doesn't work that way. A big part of fly fishing is confidence. You gotta have confidence in your fly, you gotta have confidence in the water you're fishing, you gotta have confidence that there are fish where you're fishing. If you can't see water depth and contour, then you're just throwing it out there hoping to find a fish. But if you can see water depth and see actually see fish feeding in there, then you are way ahead of the game. With prism shallow water, uh, the challenges you have are the surface, um, lakes, streams, really void of color. The water typically absorbs a lot of the blue light and reflects that blue light back at you. What we're doing with the shallow lens is trying to enhance the surface or the floor of that lake or stream. Then the fish will actually pop out against that surface and no longer be camouflaged. When you walk up to a river, you're looking to see if you see any bugs. Okay, look at the bugs out there. Those are caddis. Their behavior tells me what the fish are doing. Uh, today we can see them on top. You're watching the fish and they're looking for food pretty much all the time. Some fish are very active feeders. They'll scoot all over the place once there's some bug life that's coming, coming down the current. Other fish will only feed one way. And they'll only feed if a fly or a bug is in the right position in the water. So you've got to be able to judge all that watching the fish. Fly fishing is such a multifaceted sport that as you get a little bit more into the sport and uh, you start getting a little bit more into the uh, the details and dynamics of fly fishing, um, you need to be able to see what's going on in the water. For shallow water fishing prism lens, we went to a bunch of different locations and took a lot of photos of the bottom of the, of the rivers and a lot of photos of fish that are in those rivers and really analyze the colors and create a lens that allows you to actually see the fish you know as they're swimming around in their sort of camouflage states. Fishermen always seem really shocked at their ability to identify exactly where the fish is. Typically what we hear is they're casting their line and they're not next to the fish. Right? Um, the common reaction we get is I, I see the fish. I know exactly where I need to cast my line. 